Hello everybody, Rems here after a kind of a long vacation, kind of a long break. So sorry about that. I've been pretty sick these past couple of weeks and didn't want to make you listen to my very safe voice. But it's still kind of lingering and I really want to put one up for you, so here we go. Uh, for my tools, as always, I'm using Photoshop CS6 with a large Wacom tablet. I originally drew this sketch on Bristol paper with a 0.3 mechanical pencil. I actually made this quite a long time ago, maybe a year or two ago now. And at first I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Usually I get inspired by a pose and I go, oh, I really want to replicate that kind of emotion that that pose is bringing. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I keep doing. So you keep seeing me mess around. And that's actually why this video is a bit longer than usual. But you know, more time for you and I to spend together and more time for me to just ramble at you. <laughs> Anyways, for the theme, I really wanted to do some kind of space boy theme, I guess, or some kind of alien end boy theme. I had done a little bit of one before in my Mara sketch, which will be coming out probably next week, but I please don't hold me to it because I, I can hope, but this past couple of days has been kind of exhausting, so hopefully next week will be better and I'll be able to get some more sketch and speed paints out. So the theme for this, of course, alien boys, and also for the nudity, sorry about that, but at that time I was really into drawing, just, you know, just drawing people and then just leaving them naked because I spent so much time trying to draw them clothes, I was trying to draw them bodies, and I want to put some clothes on it and cover up all my hard work. So this is what you, this is what people got, and they thought it was kind of weird, like, why do you keep, you know, drawing naked people? Why do you keep making them look like so naked? And I'm like, cause... Because that's why I just, just a sad boy, <laughs> sad girl, you know, just me. And then I was like, I don't know what I'm doing with this guy. And he, had, he was actually placed right side up as before. And I was like, you know, I'll just, you know, flip him upside down. Uh, okay. Uh, what about, because the little, little uh, thing he's touching, like, why is that coming out of the ceiling? That looks kind of silly. Why is he just floating? So I was like, oh, he's hanging upside down on a rope. And then I use red rope, and then everyone thinks I'm drawing some kind of shibari BDSM kind of art. And I was like, it's just pretty. I just thought it was pretty. And everyone thought it was like, this is kind of, kind of weird. So, oh, well, this has been done and done. I've sold prints of it. So some people like it, apparently. Some people like my weird ideas. Yeah, that's about it. Um... So the little sketch there at the bottom, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with him. I didn't like... The sketch I'd made before, which is kind of bug-like, and I just kind of freehand sketched one. And also at that time, I was really into drawing like blood, so there might be a little bit of blood and space, because I'm always a fan of space, so you might see that in a couple more drawings. I'd really like to get back into that theme, but I've also been drawing a lot of BTS and just, you know, pretty K-pop idol boys. I kind of want to get back into my own thing now. Gotta, you know, you know bring in the reins on how beautiful I think Min Young Gi and Yuzuru Han Yu are and just try to get into my own thing now. I also struggle a lot with the color palettes if you can't tell. You'll see me switching between colors, sorry for like the flashing lights, I was just really unsure. And I want to, you know, just keep that part in because it's okay if you do this, you know, just to be like, you know, no one's perfect, art doesn't just come out of nowhere and just explode, it just takes a lot of guessing and checking and I wanted it darker. I like these colors, but at the same time, it just felt too kind of, I don't know, gross? I don't know. It's kind of too murky. And then he was just too white standing out against the background. So you'll see me just trying things again and again and again. And that's just how it feels. This is how art is. You know, you gotta keep trying things over and over again. And hopefully it'll work, but you're never really sure if it's gonna work or not. You gotta keep going, gotta keep through, pushing through. But this part is actually where all the nice shading comes in, even though I didn't end up keeping this color scheme. Spoiler alert! They've probably been spoiled by um, the thumbnail image. It's gonna, it's gonna be a bit brighter than this, but a lot of the times you'll make some happy accidents in getting all your shading down. Yeah, so that's about... There, there's my little sketch drawing. Hi, friend! It's a little scary. Ooh. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen myself do this. He's a bit freakier than I remember him being. Yeah, so this guy, uh, I think for a while, 
I had two characters that were named Maya, and one of them was like a cat boy, and one of them was actually like a boy that did not have cat ears. And I both called them Maya, so I wasn't exactly sure who Maya was. So this guy is basically also Maya. Maya, if you don't know, is my OC. He's my little baby. I have... I love him so much. You'll, you'll see more art of him soon. I adore him to bits as much as I love Min Yonggi and Yuzuru Hanyu, but you just don't see enough fan art because that's not what the masses want. The masses want, you know, just big things, big already famous things, nothing original. Just, you know, shoot yourself in the leg and just make fan art all the time, but that's not me. I'll be making more original stuff soon, that's all I'm saying. Alright, I guess I can talk about what I've been up to lately. I have a convention, very excited, on the same day <laughs> at like areas that are about an hour and a half apart at the same time. So thankfully, my beautiful friend Alyssa has just has uh, graciously let me ask her if she can go to one of the conventions or one of the art shows for me in my my place and sell both her art and my art at the same time because I won't be there. I'll actually be at the other location, which is at a college. That's gonna be kind of fun. I've never done like a real convention that's about like anime and stuff because I've just kind of sold my stuff at weird ball at all conventions and the like. You know, that's just... Life's a game, man. Life's an adventure. What else do I have to do? Um... So I've been sick been kind of kind of rough I haven't been able to do as much art as I'd like I've actually been sculpting which is really different for me I've never really been a sculptor and if you caught my live stream on Instagram a couple days from when this is being when this was posted I was actually sculpting a little doll head and I'm really excited for it to be done because he's made me so frustrated I worked on him all last weekend and I couldn't figure out how to make him even and how to make him because I actually have a oh that actually oh those colors the colors look nice now everyone welcome to the nice part of the video <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to make them look nice and even and I have a bald and all body and I kept trying to put him on the body and it just would not look right on the body so I just struggled with that man and I remade him about like six times so you know perseverance my friend perseverance will get you through in the end and maybe we'll make some nice things. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this doll head right now. Because I actually have no need for it. I just wanted to sculpt the head. Branching out, man. Branching out and trying new things. Talking about trying new things, though. I, I'm thinking maybe it'll inspire me to do a bit more posting. Doing like a little artist vlog at like the end of every week. Maybe on Saturdays, maybe on Thursdays. I'll post sweet paints like this. And on Saturdays, I'll do little artist vlogs and just, not like take me around, just kind of like, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to show you all this stuff that I've worked on in the week that I haven't had time to update anyone about. It'll probably include, most of you probably just don't care, but it'll probably include my doll stuff, which is Maya and my little, my little dolls. You'll see them. They'll be kind of blown out in the video because the lighting in my room isn't the greatest. But you'll see them, they'll be cute, and we're just all gonna love them together, right? That's how we do here. So hopefully you'll look forward to that. Not exactly sure if I'm gonna continue doing this, but I do have a couple things recorded that I will be posting. So please look forward to that. Very excited to be doing this. I haven't really been active on Insta not Instagram, YouTube lately because I just don't know what to post and I kind of have higher standards but I should be posting on YouTube rather than Instagram because Instagram is kind of just my garbage pile, <laughs> honestly. But my YouTube videos, I kind of want them to be a bit nicer, a bit more put together. And they also take a lot more work than posting on Instagram does. I like to do these voiceovers because I feel like I can connect with my audience better, the people that I'm talking to. And I love talking to people. But on Instagram, I feel like everyone just likes and they just run away and I'm just like, please, have a conversation with me, I'm lonely. I have no one to talk to. All my friends are busy college students with lives and jobs. And I'm just a commuter who has to stay at home and do art and be just alone. That's about it, yeah. 
that's my that's my sad story so please comment talk to me i'm lonely and i love you all right thanks guys for watching for hanging out you can find this print on my etsy store along with all my other merch i'll see you in the next video Bye bye Mwah.